hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for stopping by let me show you how i prepare these jerk barbecue ribs in the oven okay guys so let's take a quick look at the ingredients i'll be using today here i have my ribs already washed and prepped i'll be using some homemade jerk seasoning i have some chicken bouillon seasoned salt dry jerk seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning here i'll be using some brown braising sauce for color so let's get started so first things first you want to remove that thin membrane from the back of your ribs it's simple you just want to go in and pull it off you can use a piece of paper towel so that you know it wouldn't be sliding in your hands it's, it's super easy when you use the paper towel so yeah you just want to get rid of that wash your ribs and then i will show you what we'll do next now we'll go ahead and prepare our marinade using three tablespoons of the homemade jerk seasoning then we will add our dry seasoning to that as well as some of that browning sauce so that we can add color to the ribs now if you prefer you can use the store-bought um, jerk seasoning if that's what you have on hand or you can make it I will leave a link to how I made mine down in the description box for those that are interested once all the ingredients are mixed well we'll go ahead and start you know applying it to our ribs you want to apply a generous amount on both sides of your ribs make sure that the ribs are well coated then i'll show you what we'll do next So here you see me wrapping the ribs up. I did place it on a baking tray and wrap it up in some foil wrap. And I placed this in my fridge for about two to four hours. If you have time and you can let this go overnight, that would be best. We will bake it in the same state that we wrap it in. Next, we will prepare some barbecue sauce using um, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue. But if you wanna use any other kind, that is okay then you see me adding some um, ketchup i added two tablespoons of my jerk seasoning as well as some brown sugar you want to mix that to combine and this is what we'll use to coat and base our ribs so after about four hours marinating you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and place the ribs in there for about one hour. So after about an hour, this is how the ribs are looking. Now I am going for nice, juicy, tender feel, but not too tender to where it's falling off the bone. I, you know, I just want to sink my teeth into it for a change so one hour will give you just that now you want to base it for the first time with that barbecue sauce base it well and then we'll place it into the oven uncovered for 15 minutes Thank you. 
After 15 minutes, we'll baste it for a second time and we'll place it back in the oven for another 15 minutes, which will make it a total of one hour and 30 minutes. And here you have it, the most delicious jerk barbecue ribs. When I tell you this was so delicious, juicy, moist, it was tender, but not so tender that it was falling off the bone. And that's exactly what I was going for. I did serve it up with some baked beans, pasta salad and potato salad it was to die for and i can't wait for you all to try the recipe if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment down below i will leave all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you all next time thank you for watching i appreciate your support and as always enjoy <music>